Hey man, what's going on? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today and welcome to today's Chelsea News video where I'll be talking about all the Chelsea news headlines. A few things going on, all basically transfers. Been interesting though because of course we all know Chelsea do want to do a big, big, big rebuild when they are permitted to do so. So let's talk about the players that they've been linked with and speculate on whether they'd work in this Frank Lampard Chelsea team. Three players I'm going to be talking about today. Dries Mertens of Napoli, a big favourite of mine. If you watch the channel, you will know that. And I'll talk about the situation with him in a moment and why I think he would be an excellent move for Chelsea. Also, Samuel Chiquese of Villarreal, huge, huge Chelsea fan. Also a Chelsea target, apparently. Been linked to Chelsea before, and I talk about him briefly. And of course, another story that's been going around, Luka Jovic of Real Madrid. Amazing player for Eintracht Frankfurt. I watched him live a couple of times. Superb player, having a stinky time out in Madrid. Chelsea can capitalise off that situation. Lots to get into in today's video, and it's going to be fun and interesting. Thing. Quick reminder to you guys to go check out Jan's Yard, link in the top of the description for daily lockdown live streams on FIFA 20. Hang out with me, build a Chelsea team, tell me how to play FIFA, tell me what formations to use, what players to buy. Very interactive, daily streams at 6pm, link in the top of description. Go check it out. Alright, let's get on with it. Right, let's start off with a favourite of mine, Dries Mertens. The 32-year-old Belgium forward is out of contract at Napoli this summer. Yes, he's going to be 33 by the time he plays for another club, but trust me, Dries Mertens is a baller. Quite petite in stature, but very, very mobile and incredibly versatile in terms of forward play. He can play as a centre forward, left wing, right wing. He can even play as a sort of second striker, floating number 10. Starts for Belgium, absolutely exploded under Sarri at Napoli, and is generally a very, very offensive player that causes a lot of threat. Now loads of clubs are in for Dries Mertens and it's no surprise because he is still really, really quality. At the age of 33, sure you might think he's really old but when he's delivering at such a high level and he's out of contract, Premier League clubs will be willing to give him one, two year contracts easy and probably even start him at the highest level in the Premier League. It's been reported that Chelsea Football Club, Manchester United and Arsenal Football Club are all interested in Dries Mertens, probably all for their own respective reasons. If Aubameyang leaves Arsenal, fair enough. You know, Manchester United want other striker options. They've got Martial and Greenwood, but really, if Agallo doesn't stay, they probably want someone who could just definitely score goals in the centre forward position. And of course, with Chelsea Football Club, Giroud's off. Batshuayi isn't fancied, and of course you've got Abraham and Brozier, but if they're both very young, if you can bring in some real senior quality, Dries Mertens is your man. And the headlines are saying Chelsea are offering Mertens a better contract than both Arsenal and Manchester United, which is interesting, showing that he is really, really fancied by Chelsea and Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard was obviously questioned about Dries Mertens in the January transfer window, and he did not bat away the question in terms of, no, this is not someone I'm looking at. When people did ask Frank Lampard about players he wasn't looking at, he was quick to tell them, no, I'm not interested. This was not the case with Dries Mertens. Now, Mertens scores goals. Chelsea needs goals to be scored. So that's checkbox one done. But he's also very versatile. Frank Lampard is a versatile manager. He likes being able to move players in the middle of the game if he needs to change shape or personnel. Mertens is perfect for that. He can play as a centre forward or a winger. Chelsea needs seniority in the front line with both Pedro and Willian on the way out. They've only got young wingers left. Someone like Dries Mertens can act as a role model for all the wingers, but also as a centre forward, he can act as a role model for Tammy Abraham and Armando Broja. It's perfect, man. Chelsea can give him a two-year deal, say, so up to 35 years old. Yes, that's a, he's going to be really, really old then. But the truth is, man, I genuinely think it's worth it. He speaks fluent English. He'll have no issue taking instruction from Frank Lampard or talking to his teammates. Perfect for me. But, you know, not everyone agrees. I just think it's a superb option. 
But anyway, let's move on to the next story. Villarreal's 20-year-old winger Samuel Chukwueze is a player Chelsea have looked at before. He's recently come out in an interview and talked about how he's a massive Chelsea fan and they're the team he follows in the Premier League. And in fact, when Chelsea lost the Champions League final to Manchester United, he was reduced to tears. So, clearly a big Chelsea fan, which is nice to hear. Sure, he's a target for Chelsea, but to be honest, in my opinion, in terms of his level as a player, he's probably similar to Jeremy Boga in terms of his return and you know perhaps his ceiling. He's a few years younger than Boga, so maybe that puts him slightly ahead, but I think he'd cost more money because Chelsea have the buyback clause on Jeremy Boga. If they're looking for a rotational backup winger, Personally, I think Chelsea should look at Boga just for how cheap he would be, but it's nice to know that one of the striker, striker, winger targets they're looking at in Europe in Chukwueze, who is very young, like I said, 20 years old, playing at the highest level in Spain, is a massive Chelsea fan, and given the opportunity to join Chelsea Football Club, he would probably jump out of the chance. So a quick shout out to that headline and quote from the player. It's nice to know that if Chelsea do want him, he'd come over. And like I said, he's a promising young player. So maybe Frank Lampard fancies it. Right, the final story of today is Luka Jovic being linked to Chelsea Football Club. He kind of has been on and off. Of course, he was massively linked before his move to Real Madrid. I remember going to Stamford Bridge to the Frankfurt game. I was talking to loads of German fans and I said, look, he's being linked with Chelsea. Do you reckon he'll come here to Stamford Bridge? And they were all certain he was already gone to Real Madrid. And that was long before the transfer was finalized. So he was always gonna go there but he probably knew that he was being heavily linked to Chelsea and that Chelsea made an inquiry. Is this a good idea? Now the whole reason Real Madrid are gonna consider selling him is because it's not worked out there. They paid around 60 million euros for him and it's been reported in the news today that Chelsea will table an offer about 10 million less than what they paid for him. The guy is still very young. In fact, the Serbian international is just 22 years old and has his prime years all ahead of him. Even if you sign him on a five-year deal, by the end of it, he'll only really be entering his prime as a centre forward. So, it's almost like a perfect storm. He goes to Real Madrid, 10 million goes off his value, and then he becomes an option to Chelsea Football Club. Sure, he's had a poor time over there, but let's not forget, Luka Jovic was an absolute gunman at Eintracht Frankfurt. He was like joint top scorer in the Europa League with Giroud until Giroud scored one extra in the final to overtake him. He was really good in the Bundesliga that season, and he's just really aggressive, really fast, and when he's on his game and on his form, it looks like you can't stop him. Chelsea certainly couldn't stop him from scoring against them in the Europa League twice. He really just looks like, yeah, an unstoppable machine on form. And I think, at, you know, what, what would it be, like 45 million pounds, yeah, less, 44 million pounds or something like that? At that price, if you know Chelsea could secure the player at that price, that would kind of be perfect in terms of his age, his player profile, because he's not necessarily going to start over Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham is probably worth, like, I don't know, 50 million, 60 million now north just because of him scoring goals in the Premier League, long term contract, English, you know, scores some goals. So bringing in Luka Jovic for that money, less than 50 million pounds, he could, you know, rotate with Tammy and then challenge him for the first spot. Of course, if Tammy's goals dry up, he'll just easily start Luka Jovic above him because he runs a meritocracy at Chelsea. Who knows, maybe even could play them in a two at some point. And just because, if Chelsea do want to do a massive rebuild, theoretically, they, all, all of this could come to fruition. You could sign Dries Mertens uh, as like a backup striker, winger, and then you could also sign Luka Jovic if both Giroud and Batshuayi go, and just generally revitalize the whole forward roster. When it comes to Luka Jovic, I think it's a good long-term investment. Loads of people spoke about him, loads of Chelsea fans want him. Just because he hasn't settled at Real Madrid doesn't really mean much. Loads of people don't settle at Real Madrid. Like I said, he's young, he's proven he can play really well at the highest level, and Chelsea do a lot of psychological profiling of players, and if they're confident they can get him to settle at Stamford Bridge in Premier League football, then who knows, that could be an excellent option for Chelsea Football Club. In terms of centre forward options that are available around Europe at the moment, Timo Werner is practicing English, but for, to be honest, I think that's to join Liverpool. Obviously, I love Timo Werner, but that's just my opinion. I think Luka Jovic is an excellent option, but what do you guys think? I want to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section about all the players that I've spoken about today. 
If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you guys to like the video because that helps me out a lot. And yeah, man, follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Remember, I'm doing daily streams on Yan's Yard, so make sure you swing by there. Link in the top of the description every day at 6 p.m. That's it for me, y'all. Enjoy the football. That's sadly not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I let me be.